Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Phillips and I'm a software engineer at Skypack, the creators of tools such as Snowpack, the Skypack CDN, and Astro. You can find me on Twitter at MatthewCP. I'm also a member of the Astro core team and today I'm here to talk to you about Astro Next. That's version 0.21. So if you're not already familiar with Astro, it is a static site generator uh, with a focus on content sites. So as a static site generator, it has a lot of features that you already expect, such as file-based routing. Uh, this is the ability to create pages by creating a file on the file system. Uh, the page could be a markdown file, which is something other static site generators have as well, uh, for something like a blog post. Or it also could be a .astro file, which is a way to get a lot more power. And I'll explain what .astro files are here in a minute. Astro is component-based, and what that means is that the way that you create pages is by composing components together. So those are the ways that make Astro the same as other static site generators, but let's talk about five things that make Astro amazing, the things that actually make Astro unique. One is its very fast development cycle. And in Astro 0.21, that's actually faster because we've introduced a new runtime backed by Vite. So this is a example of what happens when you run Astro Dev. Here, we're looking at our network panel and we're loading a counter.jsx. That's what's highlighted in green here. Uh, rather than bundling all of your JavaScript together, the same way that you would do in production, when you run Astro Dev, it actually serves each file individually and compiles just that file. In red here, you see chunks that, are de uh, that the counter.jsx component depend on. Uh, so dependencies are also uh, bundled together, that way you kind of get the best of both worlds or during development. So the startup speed of running Astro Dev is actually much faster in Astro 021. In the top here, we have what happens when you run Astro Dev in an uncached site, and the bottom is cached. The difference here is that the very first time, for example, when you git clone your repository, it actually has to compile dependencies together. It takes just a little bit longer, but 300 milliseconds is actually extremely fast. So let's compare that to 0 0.20. In the cast version 0 0.20, it was 703 milliseconds. In this particular example, in Astro 0 0.21, it's now 215. In the uncached version, it was almost six seconds before. Now it's only 307 milliseconds. So that's three times faster in the cached version and almost 20 times faster in the uncached. So the second thing that makes Astro unique is the ability to bring your own framework. When we started building Astro, we really thought about this and, you know, the team itself is people are fans of different frameworks, some like Preact, some like Svelte, and we just didn't think that it would make sense to like force people to use a particular framework. So the thing that actually powers this is Astro Components. And I'll go over how Astro Components work here uh, quickly here. So here we have a user.astro is an Astro Component. It's broken up into two parts. At the top here, we have the Component Script section. This is where you can write JavaScript or TypeScript, and this actually sets up your template. The bottom here is your Template section. It has expressions. If you're familiar with JSX, they work very much the same. But the actual template itself is more like HTML. Uh, actually, one of our goals is that you should be able to copy and paste HTML that you find on the internet into an Astro component, and it should work exactly the same. So within an Astro component, the unique feature that we have is that you can import a component from any framework. For example, here we're loading a .jsx file. This is a React component. You're importing that in, in your component script section, and in the template section, you're using your component just like you would any other. This could be a React component or Svelte or anything. So out of the box, Astro supports all of these frameworks. It supports React, Vue, Svelte, Lit, Preact, and Solid.js. But actually, these renders are very small. Uh, so any component framework that can server-side render can work within Astro. And if you'd like to support another framework, let us know, and we'd be happy to help you. The third thing that makes Astro unique is that we include zero kilobytes of JavaScript by default. This makes us very much different from other uh, component-based frameworks. And again, this goes back to our commitment to building a static site generator uh, for content sites. And the way that we're able to do this is that we embrace a multi-page architecture. The way that a lot of other component-based static site generators work is they, they expect you to build your site like a single page app. And 
we realized that for content sites, this doesn't really, this is not necessary, right? Because you're not loading that much JavaScript for content sites anyways. And, you know, Astro has some unique stuff to minimize how much JavaScript loads at all. Um, so let's look at the zero kilobyte difference. On the left here, we have a site that was built using another static site generator, another content, or another component-based generator. And on the right, they rebuilt the same site in Astro. Let's see, see how it looks. So in this example, it loads 1.4 seconds faster. And all they did was convert it to Astro. Um, and be, just for the fact that we include zero kilobytes of JavaScript, it made it this much faster. Another unique thing about Astro is that it's very easy because we support any framework, it's very easy to take an existing component-based static site and convert it to Astro. All right, the fourth thing that makes Astro unique is that we minimize the amount of JavaScript that you do load. Because right, you, you do need to load JavaScript eventually uh, if you want any type of interactivity. And we do this using uh, two things, island architecture, which is our implementation of partial hydration. Now, you might not have heard these terms, so let me explain what they, what they mean and how they work. So island architecture is a term that was coined by Jason Miller, the creator of Preact. And we see this diagram here, a bunch of different islands. In green, we have a header app, which is an island. We have a sidebar app in blue, which is an island, and an image carousel. And around these different islands, we have server rendered HTML that never, never, the JavaScript never runs for those. So Astro actually takes this a step further with partial hydration and it allows you to specify which method you want to use to hydrate. So instead of just always loading the JavaScript in the script tag, we actually you actually say how you want it to load and we have a preference for loading things lazily. So we could load on page load. Uh, for something that's lower priority, you could load on CPU idle. There's component visibility, which is an amazing one I'll show off here in a second and also media query. So if you wanted to load a component that only needs a load, for example, on desktop, you can specify a media query and it will only load in that, that scenario. All right, here we see we're showing off partial hydration. We have a page that is only loading one JavaScript file. You see on the right, our network panel, there's one JavaScript file loaded. I'm gonna press play. It's gonna start scrolling and let's just see what happens. See, what happened is we get to this React counter here at the bottom, and that's when the JavaScript actually loads. So for anything that's lower priority, something that doesn't need to load right away, all you have to do is tell it to load visible, and Astro takes care of the rest. And the fifth thing that makes Astro amazing is that we're now WASM powered in Astro 0.21. And our new compiler compiles down to an efficient bytecode format that makes compilation much faster. So the new compiler is written in Go, uh, which we've done for a few reasons. Uh, we get a few things out of this. One of the big things is that we are now runtime agnostic. Uh, as you can see here in a second, the compiler can run in the browser. In the future, we could see it running in other environments that support WASM. Another big thing we get out of our conversion to WASM is that it's able to power new features. I won't go over these in detail, but we have new features in Astro 0.21, such as the ability to pass variables into styles and script tags. White space is now rendered where it wasn't before. And we are now set up for streaming. So in the future, we hope to have some type of SSR support. And when we do, we'll have streaming out of the box. What this means is that we'll be able to stream the HTML to the browser to make it load even quicker. So you can check out the new compiler by going to astro.build slash play and checking out our REPL. So that's it for Astro 0 0.21. I encourage everybody to come join our community. Astro.build slash chat is our Discord, and I hope to see you there. After these messages, we'll be right